Uh, we would like to thank all the participants, all uh, the players who took their time to visit the Philippines and to play uh, the Philippine Open International Darts Tournament. It's the third. Philippine Open this year has been absolutely fantastic, a great success and it was so good to see so many players. Wonderful tournament and so, so well organized and run out of this world. 2018 I was here, it was just a beginning. It's an experience for the Philippine Darters to experience the Philippines Open in 2018. And I think it was a big success in 2018. It was an eye-opener for the international uh, participants. So having uh, done that, more people came in 2019. And that was uh, immaculate and awesome. There was so much of improvement and all that. And we had uh, quite a bit of uh, international participants coming in. Maayos at uh, maganda yung pamamalakad, syempre. Ever since naman yung palaro ng Pilipino Open uh, under our President uh, Bem Noel, laging naman siyang maayos, maayos yung pamamalakad at syempre maraming naglaro kasing foreigner eh. Actually, uh, mas marami nung nakaraan kasi merong kasabay ngayon na palaro sa Japan na dapat andito yung mga Japanese player natin. As for this year, 2023, uh, the COVID situation, the pandemic over the two years would be one of the re main reasons uh, quite a bit of the international players uh, unable to come. Unfortunately, the pandemic was hard on darts throughout the world, but the uh, Philippines looks like they have bounced back and again, this is the place <laughs> to be, so it's, it's nice, it's wonderful to be traveling again and playing again with the best competition in Asia. Pretty much a challenge for the organizers. Coming from pandemic, there are still uh, countries who have uh, very strict restrictions uh, as to health. We see less of uh, our foreign brothers in darts uh, participating, but uh, more of the Filipino players are not just present, but uh, performing very well. Filipino, um, if you take it on the Asian tour altogether, in depth, the Filipinos probably have more players better than all the other Asian countries. Um, and obviously at top end, when you look at Lawrence Alagan, you know, people like Norma Lichten, Christian Perez, these boys, you know, have become household names and they are absolutely top draw. But the Filipino guys in general, the, the standard is incredible. Oh my God. I think it's gonna get harder and harder. So I, I, I hope, I hope the rest of Asia will actually see this opportunity as I think the Filipino players are getting so strong now. I think the, the rest of Asia should actually come here and actually make a point too because I think uh, we have good players, you know, all the rest of the world, in, in Japan especially, right? But like I say, it's a shame. Uh, I would like to see more Japanese players here and then there will be a better competition also. So I look forward, I'm, I'm going to spread the news about the next one. Hopefully, I can get a bunch of top Japanese players to come. I would say the top 20 can beat each other and you don't have a clear one, two, three. And that's, that's insane. And there are so many players who, of course, unfortunately, do not travel for many other big tournaments, but they are good as well. And we only notice that as international players, we only notice that when we come to the Philippines, that there's so much talent over here. We, you cannot go to any country other than some of the European nations like the UK, Netherlands and Germany. Other than them, you can't actually say that there are close to 50 really good players in that country. Philippines is one of them. Yes, mag magagaling yung mga Filipino darter. May, meron tayong tour card holder sa, sa, ano, sa PDC. And sa Asia, considered tayo as a contender at saka the best player of Asia. Actually, uh, masarap ma makipaglaro sa ibang bansa. Pero most especially, mas masarap na mahirap makipaglaro dito sa sariling bayan natin. Tapos mga international pa yung kalaban. So, yung pressure na andun, pero worth it naman. At Pilipino pa rin ang champion sa sarili nating bansa. Actually, kung Dutch lang pag-uusapan natin, number one tayo sa Asia. Marami tayong magagaling na players talaga. Sa totoo lang. Uh, siguro ang kulang lang sa kanila is yung exposure. Ma-expose sila sa paglalaro sa ibang bansa. Uh, yung attitude nandiyan naman, mababait naman yung player natin eh. 
talagang pagdars ang usapan, parang billiards eh, na mamayagpag ang Pilipino. This tournament is made possible, PDC is made possible by Congressman Bam Noel. With his efforts and his uh, determination, he wants to, wanted to bring PDC to Manila, to Philippines, and it happened all because of Congressman Bam Nova. Thank you, sir, for bringing PDC to the Philippines. And bringing PDC to Philippines is also another opportunity for countries around Philippines and Southeast Asia to come here and, uh, you know, get an experience, uh, try their tours and all that to try and get into the spot, into the PDC championship. With the PDC Asian Tour following the Philippine Open, there's a, gives you a lot of guys that are in the Philippine Open that possibly wouldn't have entered into this tournament, um, the chance to enter and actually play in the Asian Tour and, and see how they can do because you've got some incredible dark players here that will be playing, um, people like Paul Lim, Lawrence, I've already mentioned, you know, people like that, that are more than, uh, you know, they can pit their wits against those sort of players. So at the end of the day, it's, I think it's very important. This is brought to Tacloban, it's brought to Philippines. So this is your chance to participate, to see how far you could go. So when it's brought to you, please capitalize on it. And from there, you will know. You see? Well, uh, thank you talaga kay ano sa president natin ng NDFP kay Kong Bem Noel dahil uh, andito sa Tacloban may Asian Tour na tayo at saka may Philippine Open. Kung wala po si Kong Bem, hindi ko alam kung meron tayong ganitong klasing tournament. So, really thankful for him na naisipan niya na idalhin sa Tacloban yung Asian Tour at saka yung Philippine Open. Uh, actually, hindi siya first time na dinala dito. Pero siyempre, andun pa rin yung tiwala ng PDC sa Pilipinas. So, kung bakit na ulit is dahil gusto nila yung pamamalakan. Ito yung ano mo, stepping stone kasi considered to as the biggest tournament in Asia. So, kung andito ka, kung baga talagang malaking experience to para ma, ma ano mo yung mga dreams mo sa dar darting career mo. This is the first Titan ako sa NDF, NDFP. Dako dyan kaya akong kalipay, sir. Actually, gani, pagkadaog dyan ako, mga 5 a.m. na ako nakatulog. Sa nung saan, nagkukundi dyan ako katulog kay uh, gigrant dyan ang muang pag-ampo. Kay sa giingon ako, sir, daggan kayo mga top players, gikan pa sa Pilipinas, na silang Idol Lawrence, uh, na to si Idol Alex. Actually, si Alex po, isa po na sa kong mentor, na katudlo po sa kong uh, regarding po sa dark. And then, naapo yung mga international players. So, dako dyan kaya kung uh, pasalamat nga gihatag sa concert. Gihatag yun sa kuwa, kini nga event. Ang open single nga event. Yung championship, uh, napakasarap ng pakiramdam na ako yung representative ng Pilipinas. Unang-una, ang kalaban ko is from India. From away from India. Tapos, Philippines yung dinadala kong uh, flag. So, Yung pressure, yung halo-halo talaga, emosyon. Kaya nung nag-champion, ah, talagang worth it talaga. Napakasarap ng pakiramdam na, ma, na maitayo ang ating flag dito sa sarili nating bayan, sa larangan ng darts. What I noticed is basically, they, there are many players of uh, international class, but they are not spotted. They don't have the means to go out to get exposed. So we look for more sponsors. Hopefully, more sponsors from the Philippines will back up these young boys, young girls to go abroad and get more exposure, more international uh, feel. Potentials are great here. Mas marami talaga magagaling na Pilipino na naglalaro dito sa atin. Kailangan lang na siguro ng ma-expose sila and then magkaroon ng, syempre, ng sponsor. Pero maraming the best na Filipinong darter ngayon na sumisibol. We go to our corporate sponsors to be able to help achieve this dream 
for our Filipino dieters uh, so that they can compete in the international level. Actually, the only, the, the only thing missing is uh, the support. Uh, the talent is so much there and uh, we pray that uh, we will have more sponsors uh, to bring Filipino players to compete against the world and probably best, uh, best them at, uh, at large. Sa mga possible na pwede mag-sponsor, uh, gusto kong malaman nyo na malaki ang ating uh, chance na mag-top sa buong mundo sa larangan ng darts. Uh, sa buong community ng darts sa Pilipinas, uh, sana po mas lawakan po natin yung uh, pag-e-sponsor sa larong darts. Kasi uh, malay nyo, andito na yung hinahanap natin sa Olympic. Diba? Bilog ang boards. Kutulad nga po sa basketball, bilog ang bola. Sa darts naman, bilog ang board. So, uh, nananawagan ako sa lahat. Sa lahat, lahat ng mga major sponsor na sana magpatuloy po itong uh, pag-e-sponsor nila at magsusuporta sa larong darts. Message to the Filipino dancers, practice hard, have a lot of fun doing it. Don't, don't make it too much of a chore. And uh, if you do it right, you've got an awful lot of opportunity. But the Philippines is the hardest of all the Asian countries to make it to the top because they're so good in depth. So um, lots of practice and lots of fun. Uh, always have the will to win lang. Ganun lang talaga yung laro ng darts. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But... Uh, bawi lang pag ano, strive harder and practice more. Ganun lang talaga. Ang masasabi ko lang sa mga youth players, syempre, unang-una, huwag nilang kakalimutan yung pag-aaral nila. Syempre, kasi yung darts, nandiyan lang din naman yan. Pero yung pag-aaral, yung, uh, isang malaking susi yan sa buhay natin. So, kahit na ba nagdadars sa'yo, syempre, huwag natin kalimutan yung pag-aaral natin. Uh, masasabi ko, sa mga youth player natin muna, no? ang darts, nandiyan lang. Andito lang kami ng mga gagabay sa inyo, pero sana, uh, unahin pa rin natin pag-aaral. Siyempre, uh, kapag inuna natin pag-aaral natin, andyan yung magulang natin na susuporta sa atin. So, yung mga mag-guide sa atin, matutuwa sila kasi mas inuna natin pag-aaral. Pero yung darts kasi, as, uh, sinabi ko nga, andyan lang yan. Andyan lang yan darts, hindi yan mawawala. Ipadayon pa na ako, huwag pagdula sa darts para taas pa akong maab maabot o mapangandoy sa darts. We are back on our feet again and uh, not to worry about the two years. We will see a lot more in 2024. Next year I, I work in Dubai as well so I can mostly at least help either by getting few people from India or Dubai at least. I, I can at least get five to ten people. I will push them to come home. Para sa organizer, kay Kong Ben Noel, salamat kayo. Uh, Kay gitagaan nila opportunity ang tanan darter sa whole Philippines nga ipakita kung sa kamayo ang gula og dart. Uh, I guess we showed Asia that we are the best in Asia. The Philippine darters are the best in Asia. And we will prove to them once more in the legs to come. Uh, we will try to find help so that the best of the best Filipino darters will go and play with the best of Asia.